We are here for three days in Brussels with all kind of people all over of Europe that work on different domains of the commons to try to see how we can bring all those questions in the debates in the European Parliament and how we can strengthen our commons. The commons is definitely one of the most promising paradigm uh, for Europe. Commoning for me is a way of that people try to self-organize the use of specific resources that can be meant for growing food, but that can also be knowledge or access to experiences, access to culture and so on. Commoning means being aware that plenty of resources we need to make a living don't belong to individuals. The commons provide an alternative to the competition uh, paradigm. We use different words. We don't use competition, we use cooperation. We don't think that when everybody is nasty, it will mean that everything will be good for everybody. We counterpose that with the idea that human beings cooperate, can make up the rules, can govern resources, and can actually govern the commons in a way that's not based just on tremendous growth and destroying and extracting worth. What we're doing in practice is showing a new way. And we think that um, the issue of the commons could really be a cross-cutting issue for us because it's really related to um, deepening democracy. There's people talking about the commons, but usually politicians don't know about it. There is very little political visibility of this discourse of the commons. And so uh, there was a group of people who felt it was, um, we should think about how to organize around that, how to build more of a movement that's also political and that also is able to create joint demands for different levels of policy or politics and is able to influence uh, the public debate. Fortunately, there is a, an intergroup within the European Parliament on the Commons. And we have members of Parliament from the Social Democrats, from the Socialists, from the EFDD, from the GUE, from the Greens. Our aim is to have a much more influence from civil society and to integrate the Commons in the public policies and in the, in the definition of the policies here in the European Parliament. We have started to create links with civil society. This is a bit what we're doing today, so that the platforms and uh, the institutional representatives we are in dialogue. And secondly, we have started to introduce a concept of common good inside the daily work of the Parliament. We need to open up this process. It's something that is worth trying, it's something that is worth living, but I mean, I'm not very optimistic in the first stage. Mostly I think it's like a uphill battle of uh, trying to stop things, to trying to stop uh, bad regulations, basically. And that is why we need to organize ourselves and to stop this, uh, this process and to stop the, 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 all the process of privatization of these common goods and to get back to a public agenda. It's very important for us to be in this European discussion on energy, on collaborative economy, on agriculture, because it points a new way of Europe that's fair, decentralized, open source, and it's, and it's citizen-based. I think this is really the challenge now, to take all these energies at the grassroots level and to take it to the policy level. It's a long-run process. This is only the first step, and the Assembly has not been an event. The Assembly is an ongoing process that will continue as long as the Assembly wants it to continue. It will certainly not be a Commons Assembly. It will be Commons Assemblies. We need lots of them all over Europe in the future. So it is not only an ongoing process, it will be an ongoing process in different places, for sure. Today we had an assembly amongst ourselves, so to say, uh, here at Zinnica, and um, we looked at what people are interested in, in, in working at, and also we looked at how, we, how can we work together, what, is, what is, can be 
um, an infrastructure for the European Commons Assembly or what can be um, uh, a way of working. One way would be by networking, by connecting, somehow share the code and be able to be co-empowered. To keep a regular and, and constant uh, debates, uh, meetings, uh, prepare papers, uh, exchange information. Continue working on our issues and on the local level, but bringing also a stronger framework for, for the commons. So how to combine politics and actually having the energy to do something from bottom up, to work together. It's a, it's a big challenge.